just how many more? How many more, dear viewer? It's, it's fitting that kind of the first batch of these for the season is talking about movies, because that was my first one of these. But how many... Oh, and by the way, uh, speaking of that tradition, this is a Camacho, Connecticut. It's good. But how many of these feminist movies are they going to make where the studio loses tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars? I've already done a small video about why Kristen Stewart keeps getting work, because I don't know. Because this, this woman, you put her in your movie, I guarantee you, you're losing money. But just how many of these woke feminist flicks are we going to get where they do nothing but lose money? How many have we had in a row that have failed miserably? Let's see, Terminator, uh, Birds of Prey, Charlie's Angels, Star Wars... Uh, you know, Little Women, although I think that might have made a few bucks. Uh, I mean, Bad Whammon has got to be hemorrhaging money. But j just how many? I mean, th that's, that's just off the top of my head. And, uh, and the excuse that, well, it's just men's fault. It's like, well, the whole marketing campaign was, this isn't made for you. This is for women by women. It's like, well, then fine. 50% of the population won't see your movie. Meanwhile, Sonic's raking in the cash because they listen to the fanboys. Do you ever think that maybe, just maybe, the vast pe majority of people that go to movies are men? And especially when you're dealing with comic book heroes... It's almost predominantly men. If I go into any comic book shop, in each one, I'm only going to find maybe one woman who's there of her own accord. The only other women that are there are there because their boyfriends drug them there. That's it. So, yeah, when you have, instead of Harley Quinn wearing skin-tight spandex you and having the midriff exposed, you have her you know, wearing a potato sack because the movie isn't for the male gaze, you wonder why you lost millions of billions of dollars? And keep in mind, you know when you go to IMDb and you do the budget, you know, you, you see what it costs to make the movie? You might want to double that because that's how much money they spend on marketing. I mean, just how many? Now, apparently... Wonder Woman 2, 1984, Wonder Woman 19... Apparently, it's giving the woke crowd the middle finger. At least that's what the rumor mill is. I hope it makes a billion dollars again. I hope it breaks every box office record there is. Again, how many times do you guys have to get woke, go broke, before you realize it's not a winning formula? Look at what it's done to Disney. Bob Iger is out. Kathleen Kennedy has no power. I guess the Force ain't exactly female, now is it? The new guy wants to return Star Wars to the male fanboys that have basically supported it for the last 40 years. So, again, how many times must you keep making this same mistake? The progressive, blue check mark, blue haired feminist harpies on Twitter do not go see your movies. If you see activists in their Twitter profile, assume they're not going to go. They're activists. They don't have any money because they're too busy crying and bitching and moaning online to get a real job and make some real money to go see your stupid movie. And they don't have a boyfriend there to take them there anyway. Feminists don't see movies. They sit around reading terrible feminist poetry all goddamn evening. So hopefully this small recent trend of movies not going woke and not giving a shit, hopefully that continues.